Olá pessoal, meu nome é Mayara, eu sou de Recife, de Olinda na verdade, e me pediram para eu mandar uma mensagem para vocês hoje sobre a importância do inglês. Então vamos fazer assim, a partir de agora só vou falar inglês, tá bem? Um, Alright, so, uh, but before I actually get to the message that I want to give you, um, I want to congratulate everybody on your most recent achievement, which is to have passed the ECPE. Uh, I'm sure you guys have worked really hard. Um, so congratulations, uh, it's time to celebrate. Um, um, and the fun fact is that I actually, uh, today I looked up my emails and I learned that I passed the ECP 10 years ago. Uh, it was at the end of 2005 when I took it, so nearly 10 years. Um, and um, so perhaps a lot of what I'm going to tell you today is going to apply for your next 10 years. Um, and perhaps you're going to be in a similar situation that I am right now. Uh, which is really cool. Um, so I think, so I have three points that I want to convey to you today about why English matters. Um, the first one is that, you know, learning any foreign language is a really important aspect of your professional and intellectual growth. Um, if you learn, you know, be it French, German, Chinese, Swahili, or Finnish, um, When you start thinking in a different language, um, it allows you to um, get different perspectives on different issues. It gives you access to different cultures. Uh, you suddenly are able to understand humor, uh, which I think is the one of the most rewarding things, uh, rewarding uh, things. And you know, you get access to literature. You know, being able to read. Um, pieces of literature in the original language in which they were written uh, is really rewarding. Um, so that that's the first aspect. The second aspect is uh, that English is a particularly appealing foreign language to master and become proficient at because it is widely used uh, you know, in the world. Um, you don't have to be in the US or Canada to actually use it or you know the UK. Um, if you go to many places in Africa, English is widely spoken uh, in North, uh, Southeast Asia, South Asia. Um, so it will give you access to lots of uh, places just by the fact that you actually can communicate in this language. Um, and perhaps related to that, um, English is also really widely used for business. Um, so if you're, you know, if you have your own business or if, or if you I want to be in academia or do a master's outside, I don't know. Um, it's definitely going to help you because it is the, you know, the lingua franca that's spoken everywhere. Um, so, so that's like the second point. Um, I guess the third point, excuse me, the third point is a bit more personal, but I want to tell you anyway, um, is that having become proficient in English has completely changed my life. Um, so, it not just, you know, it has had that effect because it has helped me really grow intellectually and professionally. You need to keep practicing, you need to keep learning, and, you know, you need um, to continue to work at your uh, personal and professional intellectual growth. Um, and. A lot of what has happened in my life, I can really trace back to being to being able to speak English uh, very well. Um, I came to the U.S. for college, uh, which is not a very um, common experience among you know Brazilian students, and I'm incredibly lucky to have had that opportunity. Um, college in the U.S. is very different from college in Brazil. There are in, an immense amount of resources that you can use. So, for example, like I. I, uh, I went to France. I studied abroad in France. Every, you know, after coming here to study abroad, I spent a semester in France. I took an internship in Bangkok, in Thailand, where I was working with UNICEF. And there, of course, I was speaking English, uh, traveling around speaking English. Um, my first job that I got out of college, I studied mathematics and economics in college. And my first job was uh, as an analyst for an economic consulting firm. And there, of course, you're communicating all the time, you're communicating to clients, and you're, uh, you know, organizing these complex ideas, and English is 
proficiency in English is definitely a requirement. Um, and ever since working in the private sector, I've decided to come back to academia and I've been working as a research assistant uh, for the past year. Um, and now in the fall, I am starting a PhD in economics uh, at MIT, which is uh, really terrific uh, and, and exciting. Uh, and, you know, I've, uh, I've turned down offers from amazing places like Harvard and, and Columbia and Berkeley. And, you know, when could I have ever possibly thought um, that this is where, you know, I would have ended up uh, coming from, you know, you know, having the background stories that I do and, um, and really learning and mastering English was a prerequisite for everything that I've accomplished this far. And I imagine that for you, it's going to be a similar thing, you know, like the more you keep working on it, the better you become, the, the more you better yourself um, at uh, communicating and at understanding the English language, the more opportunities will show up for you. Um, and I hope that you seriously grab them and seriously continue to, um, to grow. Um, so, but for today, let me just wrap up by saying again, congratulations. Um, I hope that you celebrate um, and that you continue to um, do uh, a good job.